does nine want to be? A 10. What does nine need to be a 10? A one. Nine's out there. Nine is looking high and nine is looking low for a one. Nine's looking and looking. And you know what? Nine found a five. Does nine want a five? Does nine need a five? What does nine need? A one. Can we find a one hiding in that five? Remember when we built fives before? We found that fives could look like a one and a four, a two and a three, and we could have had those reversed, right? So if nine were to run into a five, which one of these fives would nine want? It would want this one that's made up of a one and a four, right? And what's nine going to do? Nine's going to say, come on, one, why don't you come over with me? Because, you know, together we make a great team. We make a ten. So the one comes on over with the nine. What does nine with one make? It makes ten. And what is a ten with a four? We know it has a special name. Ten with a four makes fourteen. Let's write down what we did. We had a nine. And nine was out looking for a one, right? But what did that nine find? That nine found a five. This is just like the problem, nine plus five. But then, what did nine do? Nine thought about how many different ways five could be made. So which five would the nine want? It wants this one, right? And what did we do? We wrote that five as a one and a four. And then what? The one comes on over with a nine, and nine with a one makes 10, and we have four more. That makes 14. You'll see this sort of thing done in the Addition Packs Mastery computer disk. It's really fun to see those blocks moving. And this is just one section of the disk. It starts out with a simple fax. It works on the want to be a 10 concept. And then we have nine looking for a friend. And this is what happens. Well, geez, that seems like a lot of writing. But it's not when the child really understands. And the beautiful thing that happens is the child sees the blocks, they work with pictures of the blocks, and then they visualize it happening in their minds. Oops, Rowan. I've done this sort of thing with junior high and high school students. They think that they're doing slow with working on their facts. So I have them start writing down answers with the directions that they stop when they find one that slows them down that they have to think about it and circle it. You know who the culprits are. Problems like 9 plus 5, 9 plus 8, 7 plus 6. And then we work on those with the blocks because the blocks make it so easy. So the older children think about, here's this 9, and what does the 9 do? It grabs that 1. They're seeing it, grabbing that one. This is a 10. Here's our 10. And four more makes 14. Let's look at a book and see what it looks like there. This is book five. And I've opened it to page five. And I'm going to write in it so you can see how we would do this. 
I'm on page five, shows a seven. Seven is looking for a three. Seven plus three is the same as seven plus three. Ten is the same as ten. That one was easy. Let's move over to the next page. This is page seven. Nine is looking for a one. But our problem is nine plus nine. Nine plus nine, that's the same as nine. And nine can be written as a one and an eight. And the child will draw in the bars. So they will draw in the nine bar, put their marks. And over here, they're going to show that nine bar broken up as a one and an eight. But that's the same as what happens. This one comes over to the nine. That's the same as a 10 plus eight, which is the same as 18. And at first, they'll draw it. They'll mark the little divisions. But after they've done that, I mean, our goal isn't just sketching. Our goal is understanding. After they've drawn those divisions enough, then they will go on to just doing this sort of thing making a little sketch and going on from there. Now let's look at multiplication. I bet you can't guess how we define multiplication. You're right. We define it as counting. Multiplication is counting a number a number of times. As an introduction to multiplication, we start out by whisper counting. Can you whisper? One. Except what we're going to do is when we get to the very end of the bar, we're going to say that one loud. Can you whisper count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Can you do that even softer and faster? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can you say that even softer so we can't even hear the whispered ones and faster? Three, six, nine, twelve. See how the child is set up for learning their skip counting? That's skip counting by threes. You know, I have this dog. His name is Rover. And he and I, we play in the clover. We count clover leaves one by one. Then we count them by threes. It's a lot more fun. He goes, woof, woof, three, woof, woof, six, woof, woof, nine. Rover counts just fine. Now, we do have a tape that has those songs on them and some coloring books that have the words to the songs. But eventually, what the children can do is they listen to the songs or they're just doing things like that with you, and they can build towers, and we'll go through that in a minute. And they'll be going, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20.